Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. I had a bit of some cloud cover and moisture just kind of scraping by the edges of our viewing area in through portions of Lemhi and Custer County today. But for the most part, sunny and windy across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming as we await a cold front that will arrive as we head to Sunday. Let me zoom out just a little bit and show you that we have high pressure right now over the Great Basin in southern Idaho. But there is a fairly well defined cold front out here in the eastern Pacific. That's going to start making its move into the weekend and that's going to kick in some stronger winds. A big drop in temperatures going from Saturday and through Sunday. Scattered showers to go along with it. Let me take you to tonight and through tomorrow with the Viper cast showing us clear conditions and it's going to stay breezy to just downright gusty in the wind department. Winds around 20 miles an hour at their worst and gusting up to around 30 at times. So we're going to see a pretty breezy night tonight and tomorrow, especially into Saturday afternoon because the cold front will start inching its way across the gem state as we go to bed Saturday night and early Sunday morning. Now, 5 a.m. on Sunday, that cold front, that push of cold air and the change up in the weather pattern, that's going to be pushing into southern and central Idaho here early Sunday morning, which means even before we wake up on Sunday, we're going to be looking at some scattered showers and some dropping temperatures. Now into Sunday all day long, mainly cloudy conditions, scattered showers with us throughout the day, and the snow level will be trying to drop to around 6,000 feet as we go into Sunday night and Monday morning. But look how quickly we clear out as we head to Monday. Now for Monday, we're still looking at some clouds, some lightly scattered snow and rain showers in western Wyoming and possibly in central Idaho. But by Monday afternoon, we're starting to clear out, and this will hold through a bit of your Tuesday, but more showers hours expected as we had your Tuesday. Let's talk about the lows tonight. Back into the mid 30s for Chow's lower 30s in Mackey and we're into the upper 30s for Idaho Falls, mid 30s for Rexburg and the upper 30s for Driggs, upper 20s for West Yellowstone. We're going to see the 40s tonight for Pocatello, American Falls and Burley. A bit breezy at times because we're going to see that warm air out of the southwest that's going to keep our temperatures just above the freezing mark for the valleys, but right at freezing for the western Wyoming mountain valleys. Temperatures tomorrow will be warmer. This is ahead of the cold front. We're going to pick up more wind, a high of 71 for Preston, 70 for Malad, 73 in Burley, lower 70s, working our way up to Idaho Falls with the upper 60s for Rexburg and Driggs, Jackson at 66, 60 for West Yellowstone, upper 60s in Rigby, and at the site through Arco, and upper 50s for Stanley there around the Sawtooth. Let's talk about what's happening here as we march forward because we're going to see next week a much different story weather-wise compared to the week that we're just coming off of here. So we are hitting 70 tomorrow and again that's warm above average ahead of the cold front. Windy conditions dropping temperatures down to the lower 50s on Sunday. Then the upper 40s for Monday. Scattered showers to get us into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I don't see any rain for Halloween at this point, but it's going to be into the lower 60s for Halloween afternoon with a bit of a light breeze. Let's go to Pocatello here. Highs at around 72 tomorrow. Windy through Sunday with a low of 44, but then we're going to get to a high of 52. So not much of a difference between the overnight low and the daytime high for Sunday. Upper 40s for Monday. Scattered showers into Tuesday and Wednesday. Rexburg highs here into the upper 60s for tomorrow. Lower 50s on Sunday. Windy conditions all throughout next week there for Tuesday and Wednesday with more scattered scattered showers and we'll take a look at Blackfoot also looking at the dropping temperatures in through Sunday and Monday 52 for the high on Sunday upper 40s for Monday now we're pushing into the mid to lower 60s towards Halloween. Salmon, you're going to be looking at some scattered snow and rain showers, but most of the snow, of course, out of salmon. Elevation of salmon is uh, still pretty low compared to where the snow level is going to be. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, scattered showers to get us into next week. Salmon, Halloween, mostly cloudy with highs into lower 60s. Not bad for Halloween there in salmon. Jackson, it's going to be a bit chilly. Western Wyoming and the Mount National Parks also through Island Park. Highs into the mid 40s on Sunday. Could see some snow in around Jackson Hole and then off and on uh, scattered showers all throughout next week. And Jackson, and could see a bit of some light rain and snow for Halloween on Friday afternoon. Jay? All right, thank you, Michael. One local business has opened the door for 200 jobs in our area. After the break, we'll show you their one-of-a-kind product.